the Know Your Shisha campaign. Um, as you may have heard, we're doing, we're trying to raise awareness of shisha smoking. So I want to give an example. Let me tell you the story of Ab uh, Abdul. He lives in East London, an average school kid. Um, he enjoys playing football and fast food. At his friend's 50th birthday party, um, he was introduced to shisha smoking, which is smoking through smoking um, nicotine through a pipe with a, with a fancy water um, device. Um, it was an interesting contra contraption. The bright colours, silver neck, the flavoured smoke. It was really cool. It was something that everybody was doing. And best of all, all his friends said he was harmless. So you know, you could drink, you could have it all day, and nothing would happen to you. But in fact, um, one hour of shisha smoking is, is equivalent to 200 um, cigarettes, um, and that is um, proved by the um, World Health Association. And um, we decided to do our own surveys in the local area, and from those surveys we, we found that 56% thought that shisha is less harmful than cigarettes, and 65% smoked it quite regularly, even those who didn't smoke cigarettes. So. We want to bust this myth, um, as, it's been, as it's time we believe that the government did something about it. Um, we have believed that the, um, raising awareness of shisha smoking will help decrease the amount that people do, or at least give them the informed choice that it's not just something harmful, it's something that they can, you know, something will happen if you do smoke it. Um, we've been, we're working with local schools in Tower Hamlets to um, deliver work, um, workshops aimed at um, 50 to 60 year olds year 10 to year 11 at school, um, currently we're talking with them to, to deliver a session. We've got a session plan, we've got volunteers on board and we just hope to go with it. We applied for some funding, haven't quite got it yet or waiting, so we're just going to go with what we have at the moment. So, yeah. I mean, what sort of, is it, what age, what culture, you know? Um, we found that it's predominantly in the um, South Asian and Arab cultures, but whereas at university is something that most, a lot of young people get into, so we want to, the reason why we tackle young people in town with a new home is that that's, um, that's the main problem. Is it, is it, I think that bubbles. Yeah. And it sometimes tastes nice. Yeah, yeah. it smells nice. <laughs> 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 yeah.